What's up, YouTube? We are here with another video. Welcome back. Have a seat. Enjoy yourself. Get you a refreshment. We're playing a game called That's Not My Neighbor. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what this game is about. I have like a little list of recommendations that I'm going through and I'm trying my best to trust you, the viewer, and not myself trying to go back and research it. I hope you guys are enjoying these. You know, so far I haven't gotten too many that were like, ooh, I'm done with this. I am excited about this one. Make sure you guys are subscribed and liking the videos. As long as y'all are doing that, I'm gonna keep recording. I'm gonna keep playing the games, okay? Let's um get to it. This video game contains flashing lights. The characters and entities present are fictitious and any resemblance to reality is just coincidence. That's not my neighbor, click to continue. Ignacio, what you got us doing? 1955 we just got out of racism we're going back the doppelgangers you let in don't kill you immediately but at the end of the run get a score rank at the end of the run according to your performance possibility to find and complete the chester's quiz okay so this nasty man right here freak a leak Got eyeballs from his forehead down to his chin. Okay, so a doppelganger. Let me just get the definition of a doppelganger in case somebody watching like has heard the word, but like, you know, they're like myself and just can't give you a, a, a definition off the top of their head. A doppelganger is a mysterious exact double of a living person. Okay. A doppelganger isn't someone who just resembles you, but it is an exact double right down to the way you walk, act, talk, and dress. I didn't know it got that deep. That's even nastier. And they're gonna kill me? It's at the end of a run. What am I running from? Are they chasing me? The following short film is a production of DDD with educational fines. Doppelganger Detection Department, okay. If you're watching this film, it's because you're a new doorman in your building, okay. I got a job. Your job is to determine whether the person who wants to enter the building is a doppelganger. Oh my gosh. As everyone knows, doppelgangers have the ability to transform into another person and impersonate them. But some are not too good at it and could generate imperfections. Oh. You have to pay close attention to the appearance of your neighbors. Oh my gosh. Also, remember to fill out the checklist for each neighbor. You can't miss any detail because it could mean death for you and your neighbors. Give me a break. This is the structure of your office. Now we are going to explain how it works. Okay. Here is the security window. Don't forget to observe very well each individual who approaches. On the right, you have fo the folders with all the data of each neighbor according to the respective floor. To fill out the checklist, take one of the lists in front of you. I'm already like, oh my gosh. Receive documents from this hatch. I'm overwhelmed. If you determine that the individual isn't a doppelganger, then allow them to enter the building with these buttons. Otherwise, if you determine that it is in fact a doppelganger, press the emergency button and call 3312. Oh my gosh. To communicate with the DDD or any apartment in your building, use a telephone in front of you. What other reason do I have to contact them? Your job is really important, so make sure you do it right. Okay, you know I'm finna do it wrong at least once or twice. Oh, yuck, he got a schnauzer. Finally, we congratulate the doorman of the month, Henry. It wasn't that he did an excellent job, but he was the only doorman in the area who didn't get killed by doppelgangers. Be like Henry, okay, okay, but better. I mean, as long as he stayed alive, what we gotta do better for? Oh my gosh, I feel like this is... Oh! Welcome and congratulations on your new job. As you can see on the introductory film, your job is to verify the entry of the neighbors of your building. Each day, there will be a list of individuals who will request entry into the building. It is possible that there are individuals who request entry and aren't on the list. 
in which case you will mark on the checklist that they are not on the list and proceed to question the individual. Also, you must verify the ID and the entry requests are correct and have the respective... Oh my gosh! Don't forget to also check the expiration on the IDs month and year. Remember, it's February 1955. I wish you good luck. Oh my, do I have like... Can I, can I watch? There's no like... Oh, Orientation? <laughs> Nobody's gonna do this first. Oh my gosh. Ugh, hello? Entry request, Lois. Still in, still, still, still in ski. F10101. I'm a resident of the building. My apartment is the zero one on the first floor. Look how they just want me to. It says zero one is Romans. Oh. Louis Stilnski. She is a housewife, big lips, mole on the left cheek, round face, short hair. Left cheek. Am I being timed? I could only look at it once? No! Oh my gosh. What her ID say? If it's 1955 right now, how was she born in 69? It has to be the past. If I got a doppelganger. There's nothing about her that's different besides her age that I'm questioning. And I feel like I might be wrong about that. I'm gonna try it. If I'm wrong, then I need to pay better attention. Do I call? What do I call? How, how do I use the phone? I don't know how to use these old phones. Is it moving? You have contacted the DDD. A group of agents has been sent to your building. What if I did all this for the wrong person? Please wait for the cleaning protocol to run. I don't even know if I did this right, y'all. Cleaning protocol completed. You can continue your job. So did I do it right? Does that mean I'm correct? Oh my gosh, this is no nerve wracking. They can't even touch me, but I know I'm gonna die. Hello, black man. How you doing, sir? Arnold Schmidt, okay? Second floor. I'm a resident of the building. I come from my job as a writer. Okay, second floor. Arnold Schmidt, okay? Writer, big eyebrows, prominent mustache, wears a hat, round face, short hair. Schmidt, is his name spelled right? Do I need to check his name? S-C-H-M? Yeah, that's the same. Oh, shoot. I can't even look at it no more. Bro, the dates are throwing me off. Because if it's 1955, how are these people born in the future? You know, I'm going to just throw them in there. Because I don't see, you know, if I'm wrong, they need to stop me. I'm killing people. You have con, okay. Okay. I'm only doing this based on the age. Like they're not, uh, I don't see any differences like with their appearance or their information. Cleaning protocol completed. Like they're not telling me I'm wrong. They're not saying good work. Like, you know, Oh gosh. So this time I just need to look at his ID. Arnold Schm is that the same? Yeah. And look at his ID this time. It's still showing that the, uh, a year before this one. I can't be doing this right, bro. I cannot be doing this right. 93222, what's the last four? It is. Arnold Schmidt, okay. Everything's the same. Where's the hat? 
But it's the birthday, y'all. It's the birthday. Oh, the checklist. I'm not even doing the checklist. Just each option on the list and mark as appropriate. No. Question the individual. Appearance is right. Oh, there's, there's a list for today. Yeah. That's, I'm not even doing my job right. Let's question them. My ID, yeah. I don't see anything wrong with my ID. It's the age, bro. It says you were born in 1971. It's 1955 right now. You know what? That's no problem, sir. Your ID says 1971. I, I, I can't miss with you, bro. Oh, shoot. Good afternoon. He ain't got no ID. Who is he? He's not even on my list. Who are you even supposed to be impersonating? Isaac Gauss, F202. I'm a resident of the building. I come from my job as a reporter. Isaac, Isaac. What, what, what room, 2-2? Two, two? He's not supposed to be coming in today. Big eyebrows, big smile, prominent chin, big nose. Big eyebrows, big smile, nose, chin. He got everything, but he ain't got no ID. See, that person had an ID. I'm just marking no, and he does have one. I'm about to get fired. I feel like I ain't doing something right. I feel like I'm wrong about the age, the birth, the, I mean, the date on the ID. But it's like, bro, he's not on the list of people to come in today. Isaac is not supposed to come in. So no ID appearance entry request and he's not here question him i'm sorry yes i forgot to show my id am i not on today's list no i think there is an error i should be on the list look at the list again hell no you scaring me 965 nobody is like this is what's throwing me with that with the date if today is 2024, ain't nobody bringing me in no dates with birthdays with the ID of 2057. There's no way, like how is this possible? But it also don't make sense that I haven't let nobody up yet. I feel like by now somebody should have been able to go upstairs. So he has an ID, but he's not on today's list. No, get out. He told me to check the list again and I didn't. He's still here. He's still here. Bro, he's not on today's list. I looked. Isaac, no. I can't look at the list no more. Just call him. Call him, bro. Who's next? Go, 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 go. Ooh! Okay. I don't know who he think that third little black doodle -doo snake is looking at. So his appearance is all their ages are like, I just can't look, bro. Ain't nobody going upstairs. Ain't nobody going upstairs. ID, no, yes. Yes. What's so strange about my third eye? I think it's a very normal third eye. Oh, you huh, you do? Tell it to them. Yep. Tell it to them. When they come and sweep you up out of here, let them know it's very normal. I hate that no matter how many people I deny, I don't get no update. I know for a fact that was a doppelganger. And he said the exact same thing he's been saying this whole time. Can I just get a normal person with an age that like makes sense? Good afternoon, sir. Mc McClewy Red Boys. McClewy Red Boys, three, three. I'm a resident of the building. I come from doing the shopping. 
Third floor, three, three. Okay. Retired, has a mustache, big nose, has a goatee, smokes, always wears a hat. I hate that I, I lose the folder every time. He ain't got no ID on him. I don't know on that entry list, do I come from doing the shopping? Bro, let me ask about his ID, bro. Okay, where's the ID? Bro, 58. I still don't like it. I still don't like it. I still don't like it. I'm missing so much stuff that I'm not paying attention to. Oh, my folder been right here. Oh my gosh, that's where the folder is. See, it says retired. It don't say nothing about shopping, but shopping, retired people do be shopping. Has a mustache, big nose, goatee, smokes. Always wears a hat. It's the ID age, bro. They pointed that out for a reason, 58. And he not gonna answer no more about it. So is everything in order? No. Can you open the door for me? No. 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 I don't like your age. I don't like your age. Nobody has come in here before 50, 1955. That's the only thing that has me questioning whether or not I'm doing this right. Milkman? Mm, hello? Milkman. Francis Mo Mosses. Francis Mosses, okay. It's still the age. Does this age show up anywhere else so I can at least know that I'm doing this wrong? 1964. I don't even know what floor he's on. Three, two, okay. Milkman. It don't say his age. His age is only on his ID. Long nose, thin chin. Tired eyes, short hair, where's a hat? I forgot to show my entry request. I'm a resident of the building. I come from my job as a milkman. Everything checks out except for the age, bro. If I'm doing this right, I should just keep doing it. But something in me wants to know if I'm doing this wrong and let him go. Everything about him checks off except the age. This game has to finish everybody that's that's coming in. There's only a certain list of people. We've had one, two, three, four people come in. There's like four people left. Let's just keep going. Let's keep going. 64, no, your age is wrong. Your age is wrong. Ain't nobody getting in today. We just gonna have a round of nobody getting in today. Ain't nobody going home. Hello, ma'am. Mia Stone, 3-1. Mia Stone, 3-1. I'm a resident of the building. I come from my job as a teacher. Okay. 78. See? Mia Stone. Long hair, small round nose. She has freckles, oval face, thin eyebrows. Everything checks out except the age, bro. ID, appearance, entry request, and she's on today's list. It's the age for me. It's the age. We only got like three three more people. Nobody's been upstairs yet. Hello, ma'am. Margaret Bubbles, two, three. Okay. Margaret Bubbles, I live in the third apartment on the second floor. She don't uh have nothing on here. She's a seamstress, no. Curly hair, deviated left eye, round nose, big smile. Age don't do it either. They're gonna have to let me go. Cause then nobody gets to go home today. 
You have contacted the DDD? Okay. Sure did. You know? Last two. Last two. If I'm right, I done kept this whole building safe. If I'm wrong, I'm definitely on it, uh, indeed. Oh, who are you? What's going on with your eyes? What is the meaning of life, the universe, and everything else, sir? Sir, what is you talking about? You're not even on my list. You know what I'm an answer. Oh, well. You know, but my protection. You the killer. Good afternoon, ma'am. What's your ID say? Age is still wrong. Gloria Schmish. Oh, that's uh homie's wife. Okay. That's gotta be the last one, right? That's it for for the whole day. That's it for the day. There's an, oh him. Dr. Afton. He's the last one. Dr. Afton, at least let me let me uh allow you to go upstairs. I haven't let nobody upstairs yet. Ugh! Oh, you ain't going upstairs. You nosy. Oh, this we already talked to him. He wasn't on the list to begin with. Bro, immediate. Look at Isaac trying to get back in. Immediate no. Who is this? You're not on my list, bro. You're not supposed to be here today. Mole on the left cheek, small pointed nose, slim. So one has a mole on the left and one has a mole on the right. This one has the left, right? Eloise, El Illinois. Bro, you're not on the list to be here today. I'm sorry. Your ear don't match either. ID, yep. Appearance, yep. She's not on the list today. I'm not on today's list because I had to leave due to an emergency at work. They ain't got nothing to do with me, man. Nothing to do with me. You're still not on the list. Okay. Okay. No problem. You ain't about to get me fired. Uh huh? Bye. Girl! Anastasia McKay. Oh, these names. I live here, whatever. My apartment is four on the second floor. You saying whatever on your entry request, like that's not going to also prevent you from getting in here. I don't know. Nothing you do. Two, four. Tired eyes, two ponytails, small nose, round face. Yep. Everything match out except you were not on today's list. You got an ID, your appearance match, you got your entry. No. Mm, I'm not on today's list because I had to leave due to an emergency or whatever. Okay. Well, go back to your emergency, ma'am. Can nothing help you here. Sorry. Bye. If I'm doing this right, I would love this job. Absolutely. Do this all day long. Give me my eight hours. I'm clocking everybody. Ain't nobody came in here. Doctor! Please, God. Oh my gosh. Please let me let you up. age bro 71 he's the last one though he's the last one dr w afton 31 i'm a resident of the building my apartment is 01 on the third floor he didn't even say his um his uh occupation physicist robust eyebrows wears glasses short hair round nose square head I mean, everything makes sense except the age on the ID. That's everybody that was supposed to be on the list. I went through. Nobody had a birthday before 1955. Let's see what they finna do to me. You can, that's everybody on the list, sir. Nobody else is here. Oh, they finna start recycling them? What floor is he on? 2-1? He ain't got no ID. It's still the age, bro. Okay, since I have cycled through this whole thing, I don't know whether or not I'm doing this right, but I've been playing for damn near 40 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to go ahead and send him through because it looks like he has everything else checked out and see if that works. 
if he kills me or chases me, I know that I was right this whole time. And I could have just kept playing, but that idea I just gave y'all, I got like 10 more minutes that I can do this before I have to send somebody upstairs. So let me see how far that I, I you know, I'm gonna keep going for a second. Big eyebrows, time to nest sash, where's the hat run? See, everything else would like. Everything is in order, but your age, bro. Your age. Nobody has come in with a year, a birth year before 1955. And that is flabbergasted to me. Wait. I didn't even get a summary. I captured six doppels. So I did kill people. What was the point in telling me the date of the age, bro? What was the point? When did I kill six doppels? I'm playing again. I'm gonna actually try killing this time because that made no sense. That made no sense. I need a beer or, or, or better. Beer better, bro. I can do this in like, you know, I'm gonna speed through it. I know what I'm doing now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Your eyes don't shut, sir. Okay. ID, no. I didn't even check the list. I'm just assuming it's the same list. Dang, there's a lot of people on this list. Okay. Both the twins is on here. Great. My eyes. I donated them to charity. Oh, okay. Hello, ma'am. Ella Noise. One four. As a model. One four. More on the left cheek. Small pointed nose. Okay. 1980, but I'm gonna let her up. I'm gonna let her up. This checks out to me. ID, appearance, entry. She is on today's list. Excellent, yup. There she is. Go ahead and go up. We letting them up. You on the list too. Ugh, ugh. Oh, I have to shut it? I have to shut the door? How was I supposed to shut the door? Give me a freaking break, bro. He just slid in like that. Arnold, Arnold, I about know, know you by now, bro. Everything looked look the same on you, Arnold. Yup. What floor he on? 2 1. Big guy, yup. All of that. All of that. ID, yup. Yup. Go ahead, Arnold. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that man. Went inside. Good afternoon. Angus Cipriani, 1-3. I come from my job as a businessman. Angus, you on the list, bro. You on the list. Businessman, long neck, wears a hat, has a mustache with small eyes. Long neck, wears a hat, has a mustache with small eyes. You know, he ain't got no ID though. I'm sorry, okay. Eight eight four five. What floor he on? One three. Eight eight four five. You know. He look good in my book. L let him up. I killed nine neighbors. Like, oh my god. You look a turd. Good afternoon, sir. Uh uh. Uh uh. You trying to impersonate Arnold? You trying to impersonate Arnold? Your ID missing and your appearance. I lost it. Oh, you ain't getting in. Ugly. Yeah. Doo doo. I slept badly last night. Bad sleep did, did that? You look like Martin. He got beat up in that boxing match, bro. Get up out of here. Ma'am. Lois Stilinski. Lois Stilinski. She's a housewife. Big lips, mole on the left cheek, round face, short hair. Big lips, small on the left cheek. 
Big lift on the left cheek. Round face, short hair. Okay. ID says three six five one. Three six five one. Everything match out to me, Lois. Your papers look good. Okay. Yup. Yup. Go ahead and go through, Miss Lois. Yep. Mm hmm Enjoy your day. Hello, ma'am. Margaret Bubbles. Yep. Let me complete let me complete your checklist. Yep. Complete. Yep. Enjoy. Oh. Oh. Miss Raftalin. Uh-uh. Don't worry about my eye. I'm worried about it. I'm concerned. I'll visit a human doctor later. Up. Oh, Up. Oh. 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 No, ma'am. I could have sworn I did her already. I did. Lois, what are you, what, what, what are you doing back here? Is that how you spell her name? L-O-I-S-S? -S? No. There's only one S. She on the list. Let her up. I let him in by accident. We got one. Oh, how, how I do, how I do, how I do. Five captured, I killed no neighbors. Come on, come on. S for satisfactory, that's what I'm assuming. I'm gonna be honest, y'all. I just wanna try one more time to see what happens when I let an actual doppelganger in. I just wanna see like if anything changes. Oh, he's clearly one. Perfect. Perfect. Let's ask him some, some questions. He ain't even speaking no English. See, he's a demon. I just wanna see what happens if I let him in. He's saying whom, like I understand that. Let him in, let him in. Don't nothing change. I'm just letting everybody in. I just wanna see what happens. I'm not gonna close the door. Yup, let everybody in. That's the only thing I haven't seen this game of like, what happens if everybody gets in? Oh. What? What? Ever dream this clown? Every night all over the world, hundreds of people see this clown in their dreams. If this clown appears in your dreams, don't play any game with him if you want more information. Oh. Oh. Okay. W plug. Oh! You know, would I play it again? No. This was a cute little game. This was a cute little game to break up, you know, the usual stuff we be doing over here, jumping out of our skin. So it was cute. It was cute. If y'all have any other suggestions, leave them down in the comment section. Any little quick, you know, something, something games you see playing, being played around, let me know. I add them to the list. Uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you guys are subbed up and liking the videos and I'll keep posting them. We're still playing. Love you guys. Bye, Britisons.